Vintage Electric Go-Kart Build Log Number 4. In the last build video, we focused a bit on the battery and some of the wiring. I'm going to wire up the bare minimum to see if we can spin up the motor. Starting with the 24 volt DC converter. This is so we can take the pack voltage down to 24 volts for the BMS and the controller. Next up is the throttle body. This will take the movements from the throttle cable and convert it to a signal that the controller recognizes for throttle. I had a laser cut acrylic case that was going to house the battery, but this ended up not working out very well. The cable dimensions were too big to fit the whole battery in the box, and there were some other issues with it. I think I'm just going to end up scrapping that idea. Here's what I've got in mind. Instead of a box, I'm going to go with a cradle design. This should be a little more flexible for the cables and hopefully overall easier to work on. For testing, I'm just screwing down a small sheet of plastic to the frame to make sure the battery terminals don't touch any of the steel. Let's bring out the battery. Here you can really see how heavy this pack is. I'm guessing it weighs somewhere between 30 and 40 pounds. Here's a snapshot of what everything looked like all wired up. I was really happy to see the motor finally spin. Check it out. Music to my ears. In addition to the 3D printed parts that I'm still waiting on, I made some errors in the lengths for the battery cables as well, so I'm going to need to reorder a couple of those. Other than that, it's just back to wiring before I can do a proper test ride. I have to wire up power leads for the BMS and controller, and a data cable for the BMS display. There's also some minor fitment issues I'm noticing now that I've got the wheels and sprockets on the cart. The one inch by two inch tubing that we used to build the motor bracket hits the brake disc and I need a really thin wrench to get into some places where the sprocket sits between the frame. Other than that, things are looking good. And with that, I'll wrap up this video. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time. Take care.